you are an ethical hacker or a bug bounty hunter today open ai has announced open ai's bug bounty program so here if you have those skills especially like the ethical hacking or bug bounty skills then you can participate in this bug bounty program and then win bounties as um, as it says like the bug bounty program there is a catch and that is the reason why i wanted to cover bug bounty program from open ai first of all if you want to bug participate in OpenAI's bug bounty program. You can click the link. It's hosted on bugcrowd.com. OpenAI, um, it's a detail about OpenAI. So what is it? You can earn from $200 to $6,500 per vulnerability. Maximum, you can get a reward of 20,000. But for every given vulnerability, you can, uh, the vulnerability that you report, you can gain 6,500 maximum uh, from 200. So in the last um, few days since they announced it, you can see that 23 vulnerabilities have been rewarded and they have been validating the vulnerabilities in 19 hours and 75% is accepted or rejected in 19 hours. Like the, the, the turnaround time is quite good and the average payout, um, this must be mostly mean, not median. So which means if you have a long tail or like a maximum value that would be dragging this out, but you can see the average value is $1,000. So it's it's quite quite a good money. The main thing that I wanted to highlight here is that if you see here, this bug bounty program does not include anything related to model. Let me repeat it again. If you have found something wrong with ChatGPT, in fact, like the model in itself, that does not let you participate in this bug bounty program, which means it is not for model related issues. It is only for software related issues. For example, the issue that they had, like the cache issue, the reduce issue, if you feel any issue like authentication issue, um, account getting shared issue. So if you have issues like that, that you identify, then probably you can pro participate in the bug bounty program. But if the vulnerability that you have identified is related to the model in itself, you will not get to participate in this bug bounty program, which is quite weird, but, um, OpenAI is saying that to ensure that these concerns are addressed properly, please report it here rather than submitting through the bug bounty program. So they have a different channel to do it, model behavior feedback, where you can go and submit your details. But I'm not sure like if, if it has a reward or if um, it, it, it you know gives you anything. So what kind of things are not included in it? Anything related to model is not included. For example, if you have found a new jailbreak like Dan, uh, if you have found a safety issue bypasses, you cannot get paid. Getting the model to say bad things, you cannot do it. Telling the, letting the model to do anything, you know, um, wrong or bad from what they've designed, you cannot. You cannot participate in the bug bounty, malicious code, you cannot participate in bug bounty, model hallucinations are also out of scope. So overall, uh, the reason why I wanted to cover this video is because anytime like OpenAI is making an announcement, everybody gets very interested in it. But uh, if you are uh, an AI engineer, probably like or prompt engineer, I should say, this does not have anything for you. But if you're a software engineer, if you're an ethical hacker or a bug bounty hunter, then you have something here for you. And you can see the rates like uh, what is P4, 200 to 500, P3, 500 to 1000. P2, um, 1000 to 2000 and P1 is 2000 to 6500 and you have like something like that is unbelievable. So what are the applications that are in scope? OpenAI APIs are in scope and the public cloud resource infrastructure involved in serving the OpenAI API. So which means Azure data blobs, Azure visual ma virtual machines and anything to do with OpenAI inside Azure is in scope. And again, there are uh, again certain rules and regulations that you cannot participate in. So API related, chat GPT related and in fact chat GPT related what are the things that you can do what are the things that you cannot do in chat GPT chat GPT plus login subscription open AI created plugins um, plugins you create yourself and uh, examples of the things that they are interested in I think they'll be quite interested in cross head scripting given that they have got the plugins which could be highly vulnerable so this entire thing looks like it's targeted at the the plugin in itself um, so yeah so these are the things that they are interested in payment issues, data exposure, authorization issues. Uh, so the model related issues are not included and you can see what other issues are included and um, that's it. Uh, open a bug bounty program. Enjoy, participate, make a lot of money. See you next video.